Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Let's see what a dusty do. One thing he doesn't do is use his head. It's very large. Look at that forehead. On the sad thing, there's no sense. Empty and hollow. Big head, no sense inside. But why is he on the screen, Derek? Derek, why is you on the screen, Derek? The name is Rick. No, I'm sorry, Derek. Derek Ross. Maybe he's mad that he couldn't be Rick Ross. Dusty Spring Drama. Dusty Spring Trauma. The financial implications. There's too much dust in the nation. Now, Derek Ross lives across the street. And I'm willing to bet. I bet he's staying with his mammy. Let's go ahead and check it out. This is what a Dusty will do. Fair use, the man on the screen, Derek Ross, look at me. Look at, look at the show. I can hear it when he threw it. I heard the glass shatter. You know, old Craig is talking about the Molotov cocktail that hit her window, bounced off the side of her house, and landed in this dog bed that was on her front porch. I'm the one who pulled it out. Because it was still on fire. She says when the glass in her front window shattered, she thought it was gunfire. And mm. says her granddaughter, who was sleeping on her sofa, did too and dropped to the floor. She was opening the door. And I looked out. Because she turned around and said, this fool did throw bottles at the house, Nana. Carolyn says police found evidence of at least three bottles thrown near her house on Carrollton Avenue and arrested the 27-year-old man who lives across the street. Wow. She says Derek Ross has been terrorizing her family for a couple of weeks, vandalizing her daughter's vehicle and damaging the windshield of her car. I get in my car after he eats up. It's shattered on the side, on the passenger side. Wow. The little lion's coming through. I said, what the... And she says she has no idea why he's doing it. We don't even know. We don't even know this child. Police say Ross told him he threw the Molotov cocktails because he felt like someone here had shot at him and told officers he would get even when he got out of jail. Carolyn says she and her daughter and granddaughter and two great grandkids were inside her house when Ross tried to set it on fire and could have been seriously hurt. We could have been dead. We in the house sleep. <clears throat> And do you think a dust bucket really cares? Do you think he really cares? I bet he stayed with his mama. Probably looking like her too. I'm going to get even when I get out. Yeah, you're going to get even and do something stupid and go right back in. Y'all want to talk about we need some prison reform? Why the hell are you trying to reform it? That's where they want to be. Mammis, please stop. Girl, stop wasting your time. Keep on investigating these dust buckets. This is where they want to be. Face the truth. Stop the madness. You are here trying to give these fools some pointers that they don't deserve. This is clearly where they want to be. They like being behind bars uh, like caged animals. He may like leathering up. With 30, 40 other men. I don't know how many they can hold in that shower in prison. But that's what he likes. It's the mammoths that don't want to face it. That's what's mainly fighting for the so-called, uh, we need prison reform. No, we need dust reform and more birth control. We need somebody to start using common sense. We need to cease carrying the seed of poverty D. We need some of these ladies to stop being so lonely, honey. Get up your self-esteem. You find for prison reform, where's it gotten you? More crimes against women because more of them are getting out. I bet you he looking like his mom and probably lived with her too. Derek Ross, a.k.a. Papa the Phil wannabe Rick Ross. And even if he had that kind of money, he'd still be a dusty fool. I'm going to get even when I get out. I wonder why is his life? So th uh, uh, this here is just another indication of low hanging fruit. Mm -hmm. Dust bucket chocolate drop, low hanging fruit. What situation? Are, what what is his life situation? Is he a homeowner? Do you have your own apartment? Your own lease? Your own car? Do you uh, have your own checking account? 
Can you write a check for five dollars that won't bounce? I wonder, I wonder what his stance is. I wonder what his stance is. Me, Ma should have been listening when I said, "Beware the angry black man. Please have your gun in hand. He'll come for you. Don't even know this fool. Go upside your head. Lay down. Play dead. Beware the angry black man." Dun, 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 dun. Please have your loaded gun in hand. He came back now. You hear? What is his stance in life? I want to know, Do you, are you a homeowner? Do you have a lease? Do you have a car in your name? Car insurance? A checking account? Do you have any income? A side hustle? Besides this big old munchkin mellow head and no sense inside, what do you have going on with your life? I'm willing to bet you don't have those things. And you have become the angry black man. That's what I'm willing to bet. You do not have those things and you have become the angry black man. And you don't want to take it out on a person who's really responsible because a person that is really responsible is you, melon head. You, the decisions that you made. Just got out of jail, and I wonder if some fool is bonding him out if they're making him pay bond. I'm going to get even when I get out. Why is your life as a dust bucket? Why is it messed up? The decisions that you made. If you notice, they can only try to get even when it comes to women, children. Inferior. And guess what? Everybody already knows that. Inferior men. I'm going to get even and take your monkey behind right back in there. Again, for the for the little man that's fighting, we got to meet up men that put themselves in there. A lot of them put themselves in there. You don't want to face it. That's where they want to be. All that energy, he could sit up and try to get a business going. It's no excuses. Again, I have no sympathy for him. When they sit in there begging for a dollar, move the hell on. I wouldn't dare open up my purse. Matter of fact, you see, you want to go ahead and start keeping moving. Try to clutch a little bit tight across the street. Because they cannot hold, handle their anger. And all this is doing, which I'm going to do this video next. Just like a, um, having a conversation with the old WG, the old white guy, said about black women. We already know it, but we're just seeing it times 10. So black women better be careful. So I'm going to end this video. Join me in the next video. We're going to talk about a conversation that I had with the OG. Chocolate drops. Mammies, the world is watching. The world is watching. Mm-hmm. The world is watching. And again, this is giving black women a chance to go ahead and see for yourself. Like the video I said, maybe the police and the politicians trying to tell you something. We don't want to listen. And they know how we can get, you know, especially some. Well, I'm going to fight for my man. You've been fighting for him, but he ain't fighting for you. He killing you. We don't want to talk about that. The world is watching. Oh, it's, it's, it's watching. So this right here, all they're doing, for those who want to stand with your little boots on, honey, you be marching without me. Oh, if they were to have him, he became a hashtag. You know what they want with Derek Bell? He, he became a hashtag. He his mama crying. You going to come march with us? Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? I need to go ahead and get a massage. It's spa day. I need to kind of catch up on some reading. You see the article in the Wall Street Journal? But yeah, they didn't have to shoot him. You know, they should follow due process. They didn't have to shoot him like that. He is a father. Uh, is this child support up today? Well, no. I mean, he ain't seen the kids in years. You know, he and baby mama don't get along. But he is a father. He could have had a chance. Oh, okay. So you want to go ahead and come march with us? We just show some solidarity and fight. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to really be busy. Yeah, I need to go ahead and count my fingers and my toes. Make sure all ten are still there. Oh, I know. I need to kind of get my dusting on. We don't have a maid. Yeah. Might be a good time to water those hedges. Do some gardening. Oh, why don't you come out here and help us? Girl? Now, wait a minute. I know what he did was wrong, but that's still human life. We need to go ahead and march in solidarity. So he became a hashtag. Girl, I'm going to be busy doing something really important. Let's see. Like, let's see. March for his worthless life. These are the ones who tear down communities, make it unsafe. 
for anyone to live wherever they go is bound to be a shit show. Let's see, you, you want somebody to march for this thing right here on the screen. I'm gonna be super busy watching paint dry. Goodbye.